okay so i have my next guest ready and he's joining me he is entering the studio and we are going to have another powerful conversation hello and um, good morning good morning mr Emmanuel. okay um can you tell me your name and um something brief about yourself yes my name is Yakub ibrahim i'm a sports journalist a media manager for a top performing uh, club in ghana mm. and also i'm part of those who organize bookworm reality show mm. uh, 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 you, you are a media person yes i'm a media personality um, which area which area yes i'm into sports and also into event organization okay sports and event organization yeah. okay um how is it like to organize a football gala for a community what do you need if we if someone wants to organize a football gala for a community what are some of the things that are needed yeah uh, first of all you have to identify the teams that are going to play mm. for instance if you are organizing a gala for about 20 clubs you need to make sure that you get 20 teams who are ready to play and also the venue that you want to use for the that, that, that kind of gala you have to organize i mean the venue for mm. instance if i want to play a gala for instance in medina here mm. i will look where will people come and watch so i will definitely consider the Medina Zungu as rated because the, the pitch is very very good mm. we have stands there we have washroom we have changing rooms and uh, or, or like one or two facilities that will, i mean make sure mm. people feel comfortable so if i'm going to organize like something in this area i will consider the Medina Zungu as rated. so i'll consider the pitch i'll consider the teams that are coming are they competitive enough i'll not just like through the invitation to uh, just any other team but i will have to look at the team their track record are they doing well do they have players can they give me the eyeballs so if i want to organize a football gala these are the areas that i'll have to look at and also after getting the teams and also the venue mm. i'll have to look for sponsorship okay. because doing it alone will be a hectic i mean tax for me you understand you mm. have to have some people who are going to help you with water food jc's and also the trophies at the end okay. of the yeah, at the end of the, I mean the tournament, you have to mm. award the best player, the best goalkeeper, the best team. So you have to I mean seek sponsorship for all this. You understand? So you can I mean engage the opinion leaders. Mm. You can go to the assemblyman and then just tell the assemblyman, oh, this gala that we are organizing, estimately like we are expecting about five thousand people to troop to our venue and watch this game. So if you are able to I mean sponsor this kind of uh, I, I, I mean uh, this thing an event you at least get a bit of mileage so we if if, if like if, if you just i mean put this to an, an an opinion leader or someone who is i mean famous in that kind of area by all means he wants to be part of this kind of initiative so by all means that person who are, are, are people willing to sponsor uh, community gala or sporting activities yes mostly politicians politicians yes politicians what of the corporate organizations the corporate organization you have to go the extra mile you have to let them know that for, for instance if they are producers of water or drinks or any other products you should let them know that if they sponsor there's a kind of mileage that they are going to get you understand mm. so for instance if uh, a, a certain company who's, who, who manufactures water is going to i mean uh, sponsor your event you have to let the person know that if you come and put your backdrop your your, your banners or your your your, your, your advertisement i mean uh, materials there production or even demand will increase going forward so th 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 that's the kind of i mean th th that's where you have to i mean uh, put it so that you, they, they will have the fair idea that oh i'm not doing it for a loss because mm. every businessman is doing business because of profit mm. you understand so okay. if you are able to i mean put your your your, your, your strategy war and the business owner sees that oh there's future in what you are doing mm. or at the, at the end of the day i will not run at a loss even if i don't get uh the the, 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 the eyeballs immediately in the, in the long run people will hear of me they are in for it but as for the politician you have to get a timing right mm. It has to be closer to december okay. or if this festive seasons but you can't just wake up and say oh i'm going to organize a football gala let me say in march 
it will be difficult a bit mm. you understand even if you are going to organize this in a march it has to be closer to the, 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 the to, to, to the festive season that's easter okay you understand because easter we have a lot of holidays that people will be around to yeah. come and watch you understand you mm. are you, you even get some players who are playing in our elite league they'll, mm. they'll, they'll be home so you can get them to play and if i mean madina and i hear that uh let me see bayview 11 okay it's playing at madina against uh mr imanos 11. Mm. they are playing at uh, and 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 bayview 11 is bringing a top the the the, 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 the league scorer of the ghana premier league mm. and i'm in madina ajirangano or even i mean uh adenta i want to come and watch okay you understand so okay. these are like petty petty things that uh we organizers okay. we use in order to get people. so most of the time your um uh, you look out for because sometimes it's difficult to get corporate bodies yes to come on board to it's support very and very very difficult it's very very difficult because uh most of the teams or most of the players that i've been playing in this gala they are not known you understand mm. and if you are organizing such a team you have to go to extra mile you have to explain mm. and make them believe that there is future in whatever you are doing but if you were going to use our premier league clubs our division one league clubs for such an event they know that oh the premier league is shown on tv so there are certain players who who, 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 are, who are known you understand so if i'm coming to sponsor such an initiative and uh the j said that the, the, the top Premier League player wears and there's my, my logo on it or there's my, 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 my crest or something on it. Mm. It can sell. They if can post come it, and brand the place. Yes. If, 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 if the, that, that, that player posts it on social media, he has the eyeballs, the people who, who know of, I mean, the product. That's I'm also, I mean, uh, into. Okay. You understand? You, 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 I don't know what role you play uh, with, uh, is it Emmanuel FC? Or yeah, Emmanuel City Football. I, Emmanuel City Football. Yes. What, what is the role you play for them? What do you do for them? Yes, I'm a media manager for Emmanuel City football academy okay yeah. and um as a media manager what yeah. do you do for them what i do basically is to market the club okay. on social media and also wherever i go because uh Emmanuel city since the team was established in 2011 uh the mileage it's not that day yeah it's, it's very very low you understand but mm. what uh when, when i joined the club what i did was that uh there's something that we have to do on social media okay you understand because week in week out we have to be posting interesting things that mm. will let people i mean get engagement onto our pages followers okay. so that when we post certain things about our club we can get the eyeballs so okay. I, I i created it uh, an x account for them okay i make sure that so you manage uh, all those things for them. yes i manage all those things and also their okay. websites okay yeah they, they, they have an, an 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 active website when we play a game whether we lose we draw i have to write a story okay about the game so i'll write story about the game and also post it on social media flies and everything like just tomorrow mm. we are playing at madina zungu asutef against uh, star makers I, I i i posted a flyer mm. that was two days ago mm. just to get people attention to the game so just tomorrow too i have to post the the the, the, the mark d flyer we have the up next flyer and also the mark d flyer so the up next flyer you have to post it like three or two days before the game mm. and the mark d flyer too has to come after you posting the mark d flyer you have to go to the fold when they are warming up you have to take shots of the warm-up post it and after the warm-up you have to post the lineup when we are about to kick off you have to post it half time you have to post the score full time you have to post when your player is adjudged the man of the match you have to interview the player and and, and, and just post so that people will be following you you wow. have to, you, you'll be very very active so since I've how, been, how is the team doing are you able to um get some of your players go play outside are you yeah uh, you, you are you are able to do that exactly we we, we we currently we have two of our players playing in granada in spain granada wow. is one of the top clubs in in spain how were they able to discover those two players because of the videos that we post on social media mm. and also uh, they, they've heard our name the, the name emmanuel city so how long how long how long how long has this team been in existence since 2011 so let me say about 13 years oh, okay. now so it means you've been doing so many things yes but i joined them that was 2018 okay yes i've joined the team and they discovered mm -hmm. these two players on social media because yes. of what you post on yes social because media. of what we post and, and so if even if you post a certain player their stars mm. their video they want to if even they are convinced mm. they want to come and then watch the player 
Mm. You understand? Because sometimes they will say, oh, video may deceive us. So because of uh, the, the kind of AI, I mean, uh, software that we have so far, a player cannot be performed, but you can use the AI I mean, a software mm. to make the player play better in the okay. video. But they want to watch the player physically. So they came down, watched certain players, and they were convinced, and they took them to Spain. And mm. we have certain players who are also doing well in Romania. Just this uh, next month, about five players, our five team, our first team players, will also be leaving the shores of Ghana to Romania. So okay. it is, it is, they, 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 we are just making a headway. We are just pushing. We are just pushing. But at this level, the money is not coming from where where okay so where are you expecting the money to come from it's it's, it's a long-term project that you are doing mm. it's a long-term project you cannot just say oh because the player is a juvenile player he, he's going to abroad he's going to sign a professional no it doesn't work that way that player has to go under development after the development that player has to i mean uh prove himself beyond reasonable doubt because there are certain players if they just go they, they, they cannot adopt adaptation is something that is quite difficult for them so short term i mean results it's not what we are looking at we are looking at the long term results so if let say you have a player who is playing at granada they are team b you know that in two years or even in a year time if the player is doing what he's doing meaning that he can be playing uh, in their senior team so when wh when he's ready to play for the senior team that's when granada will just say oh now your player is mature he can play in our team a so how much are you looking at that's where you also bring your figures and you you, you, you can get some money to run your club juvenile football in ghana mm -hmm. is it suffering very very what, what what are some of the challenges with juvenile football currently you see the challenges are where the players are playing football mm. because the four that we, we, we that, 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 that like that were available most of them are not available now mm. you can go to a certain space and you see that the district assembly are erecting a building on it mm. you understand because they see that the football that they are playing they are not seeing the future in it so they, they just say oh put your, your, your structure on it so that every man you'll be paying they, they see it to be i mean profitable more than a football team mm. playing on that space i understand that um when um, with this karen astro mm -hmm. you pay before you use yes per se madina zongo astro when my team emano city is going to play mm. just tomorrow we'll pay for the pitch one we pay for chairs where officials and match commissioner will sit why, why? it doesn't the, the astro turf doesn't have chairs that's to ch uh, turf has limited chairs so there is a businessman there who also rent out his chairs okay so on a my day he also make some money hmm. and also the stand the stand the amount that hmm. will stand and video our game we have to pay w why why it doesn't come with all these facilities it doesn't and it doesn't and how much do you pay per match if you want to use there as a home mm -hmm. how much are you supposed to pay we we, we because of we play in the division two league so mm. we are getting a kind of discount so we okay. pay like 400 cities okay for a game the for chair. a game yes together with the chairs and the stand if you match all together let's say 500 cities okay that's for the page the chairs and also the stand so that is your home that's that is our home yeah and where where do you come do you camp your players somewhere yeah we come to our place at uh amahia on the dodua road so closer to valley view uh valley view and Christian so University. anytime you have match mm -hmm. you need to make sure you get a vehicle yes to convey them yes to convey them we have to feed them as well hey really yes we have to we feed our players three times a day uh, no so uh, they go home and come or you've no camped them. we've come them we've come them so we have a camp where we feed our players three times a day mm. they have mattresses that they lie on okay they have uh they, 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 they have a lot of things at their disposal they have dstv mm. with the world this foreign game so that they can improve their play they, they totally have everything at their disposal okay. so on a might day we'll get a bus that will convey our players to Medina or any venue that we are going mm. and i tell and, you and it comes with the cost it comes with the cost and if you win this division two league the money that you even get cannot even cater for it how, uh, how much how uh, much is, is is a team entitled to if you win 
last season the team that won the league was given i think was it three thousand cities oh no come on how just three thousand ghana cities that was still believe three thousand ghana yes, cities. three thousand ghana cities i i i don't understand because mm -hmm. how many matches do you play in a season in a season uh for instance in our zone mm. we have 15 teams okay so meaning first round you play 14 matches second round you play another 14 matches. okay so 14 matches let's assume um 14 matches you play about um six six home six, six home away. six home yeah. and six home mm -hmm. let's assume you are spending 500 cities for whom matches for for for, for us to for us to yes. six matches mm -hmm. we are looking at um three thousand cities yes you buy water okay excluding water yes, excluding water yes excluding food yes excluding. and when i win mm -hmm. and i get three thousand cities yes whose responsibility is it still under the a a fa yes it's under the, the greater Accra regional football association but still under the fa and under the FA. so decisions are taken from the top yes it's, it's been taken from the top here yeah. and three thousand ghana cities. three thousand ghana cities i don't know whether this year they will increase it to five thousand and why and even you? and even when you even qualify for the middle league you have to pay five thousand cities mm. you understand because we have eight zones we have no six zones. we have six zones in greater Accra. so each rep from each zone mm. will, when you qualify for the middle league you pay five thousand okay. that's the money that they use for organization and other purposes and when you play the middle league and you are the winner mm. for the div division one then mm. you get three thousand ghana cities to me i don't think it makes sense because looking at the amount of money you are going to even spend on your mm -hmm. players mm -hmm. uh, so why i uh, why are you people uh, why are people not speaking against some of these things because i think that mm -hmm. people we football we develop football from juvenile stage yeah if your juveniles and your course are weak mm -hmm. it's difficult to be able to do it. so why are you not speaking against you it? see at this level when you speak against the system mm. you'll be tagged as as someone who is against the current government in our football circles that is a, a, a cat okay Ket and his people and when you are being tagged meaning that match officials will target you it will be difficult for you to win matches really yes i'm telling you it happened here in ghana oh it, it happens it happened even last in as a new they were complaining bitterly they were wow complaining, yes, they, were, they were complaining bitterly you understand so what you need to do is that let me just play to the gallery whatever they are doing let me just follow it and, and know my aim that i'm using this league to market my players for the foreign market i'm not marketing them for division one or ghana because how much are they being, being paid in okay. the division one and ghana premier league mm. division one teams last time a large guru was speaking they give their players about 300 ghana cities just imagine mm. a division one player gets about 300 ghana cities. Uh, can you use the mic for me yes a, a division one league player okay gets like 300 ghana cities a month and uh, that money no, don't even come regularly whose responsibility is this you you the club owner because when you are not ready don't set up a club you understand mm. if i'm setting up mr emmanuel fc i should know that I'm going to take responsibility of everything of the club mm. i will make sure i'll get them where they are going to i mean where i'm going to accommodate them i'm going to get them food i'm going to get them football i'm going to get them a pitch i'm going to get them beefs boots everything i have to be ready you understand i should be ready before i set up a club i should not just say oh because i'm a football loving fan let me just set up a coast team no that's one thing that is even destroying our coast football because pa passion alone is not enough I'm telling you, passion alone is not enough. You should have some certain financial capacity before you can enter into football now. Hmm. I'm telling you. And when you enter into football now, the results is not eminent too. Okay. It's not instant. You hmm. will not get instant results in, in you, football you, now. You need to do it over a period of time. You need to do it for over a period of time before you can reap your dividend. Hmm. But other people don't, don't understand. So for instance, if you convince a businessman that, oh, I'm having this kind of team, please come and help me. To, to 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 push the team so when the business come businessman comes to your aid for two to three years he's expecting to make quadruple of his investment mm. if he doesn't get that he goes away mm. because he's looking at the business that he's doing 
if i spend like ten thousand ghana city buying this product at least at least i might get fifteen thousand so if i invest that kind of money into football and over two years i don't get that kind of money i'm still investing no 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 no. you have to go so you should have some certain love for what you are doing passion financial capacity mm. and also love for what you are doing mm. Th that's one thing that's keeping a lot of football administrators because for the football itself in ghana it doesn't pay it's just sacrificial job that's a lot of people are doing football doesn't pay football doesn't pay <laughs> it doesn't pay from the beginning mm. from the beginning it doesn't pay i'm telling you it doesn't pay cry you will do a lot of investment you'll be doing you'll be doing you'll be doing you'll be doing like it will get to a certain stage that you even feel giving up because mm. whatever you are doing like at least you should you should get some and uh, you should get, see some glimpses that what i'm doing i'm doing it in a positive way but sometimes you yourself you feel that what i'm doing like let, let me let me just give up because mm. there are some people who have entered into football and now they are not into football again okay let me give you an example when legon city mm. came into the ghana premier league look at the brandon Mm. On, on 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 friday that they were playing their their game they will bring shatawali another time they will bring medical they will bring <laughs> one even now as we speak lego city are struggling to even pay their players wow yes because the one who was doing the investment saw that no i cannot be spending this kind of money yeah and not getting the return and not getting the results no okay it's not just by three points no mm. at least i should be able to sell some player for a million dollars mm. i should be able to sell another player you know okay. every season i have to be getting something even if if it's half of my investment i think i'm, I'm making a headway but if for a season i spend like 1.5 million dollars and at the end of the season i don't get anything no no rational business mind ma man who want to go into this kind of venture where they just um ended uh all african games yes yeah. has the allowances been paid not yet why uh because <laughs> this allowances issue uh you see when they were recruiting the volunteers they were made out to be aware that at uh if the program comes to an end at least they will get some certain allowances that was the communication from the minister the minister was very very emphatically that after the program some allowances will be given to the volunteers so when the program ended like some volunteers were expecting something to be given to them but it seems it was not given so that was when the agitation started oh this oh that oh this oh that oh this oh that but the minister has promised that in the coming days he will sort it out and that was the mistake that he made if you are coming to volunteer for something you should be made to be aware that at the end of that uh, like if, 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 if i'm being told that after this program i'll get this and after the program i don't get that mm. like it will not make sense to me okay i'll not be happy mm. so that was the where the miscommunication came mm. because even the loc executive chairman a uh, director mm. he himself was not aware that volunteers were going to be giving some token okay. he was not he was not aware so, so me, that, that was where the miscommunication came so and, okay. so is how how best um because i understand there was some confusion yeah at legon at legon yeah and so right now when is the fa ready to pay no the minister says uh after easter he will just organize how something. much are they supposed to be paid some were quoting two thousand some were quoting six thousand and w what's the number how many people are we are we talking about here? we have about five thousand volunteers five thousand volunteers yes and we have the vip volunteers mm -hmm. the vip volunteers are those that the politicians brought oh so politicians also brought some yeah, people politi yeah politicians brought some people this ghana before they even brought up the link for people to apply for the volunteers mm. they took some already w was those that advertised the yes the advertisement came mm. so before the advertisement the VIP. some protocol oh, list what? also came came yeah and so people are being paid two thousand yeah. okay so these volunteers what did they 
I don't know the kind of services they provided. Mm. What was what was your role? Uh, they, 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 were, they were categorized into department. Mm. We have those who were helping with transport. We have those who were helping with uh, the, the, the teams. So and also the translators. They, they were categorized into and those who were at the at, at security at vintage points and also mm. those who were at the stadium to make sure that uh, everything was okay. Mm. So that was how they were, uh, they, were, they, were, they, were they were even I mean, they were uh, they were divided. You understand? Okay. So every everyone has its role that they were playing. So we had those who were also doing media. They go to I mean the various venues to take pictures and post them on their social media pages like everybody was just i mean ha having something doing you understand okay so now those that were the vip okay according to my source they have their money oh okay the yeah. protocol oh the protocol okay they have their money they have their money where journalists paid journalists were not paid oh no are you sure you were not paid i was not paid no you but was there anything like uh, some something for the journalists who covered the story oh it was some few occasions that you just go to a press conference mm. and they'll just give you a, tick, a token a token of a token of 200 cities 200 cities yeah that was all who, who was in charge of the media dan quick oh okay yeah dan quick was in charge of the media he was in charge of the so he was doing the payments yes 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 or he he also has he'll someone coordinate the payment okay he, he, he coordinates the payment and what is the criteria are you sure um all the sports journalists took 200 cities or there were some exceptions there were some exceptions some people took like 500 or yeah, yeah, yeah so some people so took what is like, the criteria even, How? even even this issue brought about confusion at legon okay because even at the final day when uh they they they, they, they organized a press briefing we went there and they mentioned the so-called big big stations in ghana mm. gave them their envelope and there was still a long queue mm. so they said oh we in this queue come and write your name and take hand rest to this that was when the agitation started that ah in say juma yeah yeah 58 up to this time you know hand rest to this maya you are giving us hundreds for cities. All, all all the time we have spent here you see like some people were not happy i'm telling okay. you some even the treatment that they gave to the media was not the best i'm telling you media treatment yes was not media good. treatment in this african games was not the best because when we went to the media seminar mr emmanuel they told us that one they will give us vests okay. like the, 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 the reflector, press okay the, the, the press i mean okay. reflector that we wear okay that is one they will give us this cap mm -hmm. notes no no a note note notebook okay pen and also a bag from the beginning they started sharing the t-shirts this this cap and the notebook mm. leaving out the the, the back so so when they realized that there are other people who apply and didn't come and cover the games that was when they started sharing even these bags these media bags mm. and some people were like come on how you told us you are going to give us this kind of bags and now we are not getting them what is happening so in terms of media treatment it was not the best i'm telling you media treatment was yes not the they best. were treating volunteers even better than even with the media what is happening to our black stars <laughs> there's a lot happening to our black stars a lot if the right decisions are not being taken that's how it's going to be if you say if the right decisions are not taken mm -hmm. what, what 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 does it mean it means a lot mm. yeah you have a problem with coach otuado a very big problem you have problem with john pencil being yeah. the assistant coach yes and also fatal Dauda. why w what is it about them? they are not up to the level of being the assistant coaches of our national team and otuado doesn't qualify he doesn't deserve i'm coming when we went to the afcon and field mm. and chris Hilton was fired we were told that there's going to be a committee that will help us find a coach mm. and this was the criteria for the new coach of our national team that person should be a proven winner that is one and also the person should have a 15 years experience in coaching and that is I'm, what they said that's what they said and i'm asking that is otuado having 15 years of coaching experience it's no otuado is not even a top class coach he's a trainer scout he's the one who just trained the juvenile players at Borussia Dortmund. Otuado 
<laughs> see we, we don't do the right thing i'm telling you so so meaning they didn't play they, they, they didn't use their criteria in appointing Otuado. Mm. i'm telling you they didn't use their criteria because if you tell me that you want a proven winner you want someone who is tried and tested you want someone with 15 years experience you know go and bring Otuado. the meaning that you want us to fail again you understand you want us to fail again when Otuado came in his first in, 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 in like in his first, first train with the national team he played 12 matches four wins four draw and four losses 33.3 percent this is a failure if you go and write white and you have been given 33.3 percent mean that it's f9 it's total failure who who were you expecting to be appointed the coach of the blasters i was expecting a proven winner someone who knows the african terrain like like heavy renard heavy renard was uh, a physical trainer that was in 2008 when claude roy no 2006 when claude roy was in ghana mm. after that he has packaged himself gone for a lot of coaching course and he's a top coach now Javi Renard won the AFCON with Zambia, won the AFCON with for uh, Cote d'Ivoire. That was 2015. They beat Ghana on penalties and won it. Since then, let's just say that we are going for a top coach. Mm. We can negotiate with, with um, Javi Renard. He's now with uh, uh, the, the French national team, their women's side. We can just negotiate with him that, oh, uh, uh, Javi Renard, we want you to come and coach our national team. And he himself will, be, will feel, even feel proud coaching the national team. Because he has had, I mean, uh, he, he was he, he worked under us before. You understand? So that was the kind of coach that I was expecting to be brought to us. And, and also, it didn't happen. It didn't happen. There are coaches who have done war on the African continent, but we didn't consider them. Mm. I'm telling you, and we went for Otuadu. Otuadu during his first time. You could clearly see that he doesn't have a blueprint on our team. He has returned. We played two matches. We've not even won a single game. We've considered four goals and only scored two. So, meaning to me, I've just lowered my expectation. I know that Otuado has nothing good to offer our national team. I'm telling what, what you. What of assistant coach John? Assistant Pinsel. coach John Pinsel. Yeah. Someone who has fake license. He fake license. I'm telling what, you. You do. There's there's an allegation. Yeah. There's an, there's evidence. Uh, where? Oh yeah. There's uh, there's evidence. Fake license. Fake license. Coaching license. Yes. Let me tell you something. O, uh, John Pinsel was part of those who bought legon city the reason why he couldn't coach legon city was that at that time he didn't have coaching licenses mm. even before that he was with kaiser chiefs in okay. south africa he didn't have licenses that was when he faked that license that license a when he faked that licenses and the south african fa did their checks at ghana and uh, they, they, they checks in ghana they saw that he didn't have, he, the, 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 the licenses was fake that was why he was fired and came to ghana He's now a license B holder. So when we give our system coaches to calf license B holder, meaning what do we expect from him? He's mm. not qualified to to to, 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 to I mean to handle our national. I'm telling you, okay. he's not qualified, crowd. Because if we can't have UEFA Pro license holders to I mean to 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 to, to, uh, to handle our national, that means that we don't have a future. Mm. We are just going for cheap labor. Okay. I'm telling you. We are going for cheap labor. If okay. it's not, if, if it was not because of cheap labor, we would have brought Otuado, Fata Odauda, and also John Pencil. I'm telling you, <laughs> they have nothing good to offer this nation. No. Okay. We are just, they, they will just come and do an experiment after two or even half a year. We will just fire them and bring another coach again. Hmm. I was expecting the FA together with the government of Ghana to bring in a top performing coach who will come and structure our players we have players so we have a lot of players look at how Kudus Mohamed are you sure yeah Kudus Mohamed is not a bad player mm. Thomas Pate is playing very well and our goalkeeping too although we have some I mean uh, problems there our defenders we have Salis Mohamed who is doing very well Amate is there uh, Ali Dusedu we have a lot of players you understand assembling them is the problem that we are having mm. so we need a coach who can come and let them know that there's hope do this do that do that improve the players that we are having at our national team how can you have a coach that cannot even i mean uh improve the players that we are having when Olele kinsto was our goalkeeper he told us that he was monitoring about 15 goalkeepers <laughs> 15 goalkeepers so but anytime that there's been a call up you see uh jojo Wallacott, you see uh lawrence atizigi and you hear of manaf okay nuruddin so meaning we are just it's just a template thing that we are doing this one will come invite this one this one will come that's the same thing that we are doing what we need to do to make our national team attractive now is that mm. let's tell Ghanaians that for about 
three to four years we should not expect anything we are going to do a serious rebuilding okay that's the only thing that can help this national team hmm. this under 20 that has won gold in this africa africa against football competition mm-hmm. we can just select about five or even six players of them and uh-huh. bring them to the national team okay together with kudus mohammed mm. uh, and his new Amma, and these young players who are doing well let's make them and make sure that certain players will say goodbye to them mm. because they have nothing good to offer this nation there are certain players who don't have anything to go offer this nation wow oh yeah um which of our players you think we should retire them to retire them completely like, for our national no, okay team. Le- because you think all our players are okay no not all of them who who, who do you want us to drop do you think at this point drop? yes at this point yes our captain should just say goodbye to the national team i'm telling you did they are you, they are you? He, do you to me to he, me he has done his level of support. playing is, is is down yeah to me someone who cannot even play 90 minutes how can he be our captain <laughs> mr imano you watch football always <laughs> he cannot play 90 minutes for us and when he comes into our game we don't win mm yeah just the last friendly that we played against uganda when he came into the game that was when the, the people equalized the goal mm. so meaning sometimes you don't have luck again just you yourself just sit down and say where we've gotten to let me just let call me, it let, let, yeah and just sit and offer my support to the national team and my okay. prayer that's all but as far as you are in and there's going to be and then and, and the team goes and fail well, means they will tag you they will say that you are the course they are exactly the course. me yeah. i like the day are you mm. but for now i he, think he, he has should, to hang out with his boots he, he should that. he should resign he should just retire and say oh the national team let me just support them from behind but me playing no captain c issue has caused this nation or mr imano yeah it has caused a lot i remember in 1992 yes i am um, i bet the pele and Pele. then tony Yeboah. Tony Yeboah. look yeah. at what happened to us yeah we were beaten by the same Cote d'Ivoire. Yeah, so so I think uh, uh, um, no, uh, uh, Abedi Pele and uh, Kosiapia. Kosiapia, Kosiapia, sorry, and and it, 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 it was a problem because mm-hmm. uh, 1992, yeah. um, Abedi Pele was then playing international football, yeah. and Kosiapia was in Ghana, <laughs> for in for Ghana the and it, there was this kind of um, uh, but that between uh, them, yeah, because one is a uh, and even it affected us because during that time. Mm-hmm. Abedi Pele and Tony Ebua were the only players yes. playing outside, outside Ghana, Ghana. Yeah. and it, it, there were some rumors that even at camp yeah. these two people can decide to leave camp and go out and come yeah. back uh, there were some allegations that yes because nobody can even criticize them or tell them hey what you are doing you need to stop because they were <laughs> they were playing uh, international league so yeah. for, for, as, as for our national team there's division Mm. Because as we speak, the day you has his camp. How how do we fix this crack? You see, how to fix this crack is that we should let all players see that they are all important in the national team. Okay. If you, if you are the captain, you should not have side. Because our captain has some certain players who play alliance to him. Mm. Thomas Pate has his camp. These foreign players that, we've, that, 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 that have naturalized for the national team, they also have their camp. So we have three camps in our national team. Three camps? Yes. Wow. Yeah. So how, how can it work? It can work. We have a big problem as a nation. Mm. What we need to do is that we should just merge all the camps together. Mm. Let them know that this is a national course. Because that individualistic, I mean, mindset, we should just clear it off. That's the only thing that can help this nation. Okay. And make sure we start from the begin, like from from the from grassroots. Because when Senegal started from grassroots, we saw the results. Mm. You understand? Senegal, the last African, they won it. Yeah. You understand? Algeria also did the same thing. Even and we are not giving more opportunity to even our local players. Look you, at Egypt. You what? think so? We are not giving more opportunities. We are not giving more opportunities. When we take, when, when, when we even, I mean, give call up to our national team, uh, uh, our, our, our our Ghana Premier League players, and they go to, I mean, black black. We don't. They don't even get opportunity to play. Mm. They don't get opportunity. They are not even part of the, even the my, mm. my, my day squad. What what what? what let, let's zoom in a little into uh women football. Yeah. Um, are we giving them that necessary support in terms of um, budget allocated to? the women's football um, compared to what is being done for the men 
uh, how is it like mm -hmm. the focus no the, the focus the uh, you know their blacks are here black stars <laughs> they cannot <laughs> and and why, why why should it be like that you see uh because uh everybody likes the black stars like every football loving fan knows as a mm. they know the day are you they know uh ajiman bidu they yeah. know all the players who have played for the national team but not everybody knows our women football players mm. you understand yeah currently if prince la adubia comes here it's not everybody who will know this prince no no no, prince no. Prince we, we 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 hardly plays, you understand we hardly know them. we had we hardly know them they don't market themselves enough that's what i think they themselves they don't market themselves enough don't you think those in charge of the the, the black queens mm -hmm. are not helping well they are doing their part by just that in terms of budget allocation even the minister when there's bonus bonuses to be cleared and it sees black stars and it sees black queens by all means it's black stars <laughs> that you work on and say oh black queens you understand mm. but currently the team is doing very well okay. under nora hopto because since her appointment she played a number of matches which she was unbeaten it's just recently that we were defeated by zambia you understand but you could clearly see that uh we've qualified for the women's of that was a very long time that we couldn't i mean qualify when Messi to Koku was our coach uh, we, we were finding difficult i mean qualifying for the women's of and now that nora hopto is in charge of the team she's doing very well she's mm. doing very well but just that the management committee they have to do enough you understand okay i they, they can't do like they can't force the government to do what they are doing for black stars okay to, for, for the for, for uh, like for uh, for the black way it can't happen that one day we all know that it's very very impossible but at least half of what black stars is receiving we can just allocate it to our black queens so that at least they can also see that oh they're also important mm. sometimes when they are even played they have to strike they have to say oh yeah but before bonus bonuses will be paid to them which is very very bad and i don't remember the last time that we owe uh, black stars bonuses no it doesn't happen but as for black queens black princesses and black maidens we always owe them bonuses mm. We owe, owe them bonus and it's, it's very 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 bad we are setting a very very bad precedent for our national team okay you understand when we promise them that if they win this competition we are giving them ten thousand dollars we should just pay pay it to them because they receive a uh, black, black star receive 10 10 times more than what, what, what the black queens receive so why 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 is it difficult for us i mean paying those monies to them hmm. we, it shouldn't be difficult it shouldn't be us. difficult i'm sure the minister sees that like they don't deserve that kind of money hmm. that's what i see because if they deserve that kind of money like why why, why is it taking him time hmm. to, i mean to clear those bonuses it's very very bad i think we and uh, now that uh uh madame gives to worry too is 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 the uh, chair for the women's football i think she, she's also doing well or oh, it was the last time that i was not happy with her comments when yeah. the black queens uh, needed their money and she was doing some comparison with the black stars uh, because me i supported her hands down but when she made that comment i was disappointed in her okay. but i think she has learned from her mistake going forward she she she, she should also do well. i think the politician they should join football because mm. she, she, she has bought a club berry ladies who, who the, the team is not doing bad in the women's league okay um ibra thank you so much and um you see the last time um during the african uh, um, games, games mm -hmm. i realized that there are lots of um sports disciplines that yeah we have not paid attention to mm -hmm. a lot of them i was so shocked to see oh so people are doing this yeah the fa is aware we are not giving attention and all our attentions is football. Are on football and you see it, it boils down to the facilities mm -hmm. you understand yeah we don't have it's just recently that we, we we've constructed all the, 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 those facilities because we didn't have a very good titan tracks mm. which our athletes will run on the one that we're using at elwa go to elwa still sports stadium and see okay it's not it's not it's not in good condition you understand even where we're supposed to use for short put we don't have okay. javelin it's a problem but now that we have all these facilities my problem is that we have to maintain it and mr emmanuel if we give this facility Mm. to the national sports authority okay in in a, in a year time mm. it will deteriorate i'm telling you you, you think so oh yeah look at the across sports stadium mm. you've been there recently yeah look at the washrooms of across serious sports stadium. even yesterday there was a program there 
Pastor Daki he was, he was mix, Mills did his Easter convention there, and they were on the grass. Meanwhile, this grass was, was, was just uh, was just constructed for African games. So it was just done. They do, did one or two touches just to meet standard for African games to be played on. They, we didn't put anything to just cover the pitch. That's the problem that we are having. So National Sports Authority, who are going, who are supposed to be the custodians of, um, I mean, uh, the, the, our sports facility, mm. they are not doing enough. Okay. Go to the washroom of Accra Sports Stadium. Mm. It's not in the best of condition. Last time, I was chatting with a Nigerian general. He was laughing at me. Oh, I, I go mm -hmm. and uh, Accra Sports the washroom no good. He was laughing at me. Mm. You understand? So we have to make sure that maintenance of the few facilities that we have. We, we, have to we, pick, we, we are maintaining them. We are maintaining. We have to pay more sure attention. Making sure they are in good, good shape. They are not in good shapes. Okay. Washrooms is not in, in the best of I mean condition. If the scoreboard, even the seat that we sit on it, it's not in good condition. Meanwhile, when we use these facilities, mm -hmm. we take gate fees. Yeah, we take gate. We they pay. And we are unable to even maintain these places. It's true. We rent our stadiums for entertainment events. Oh. They charge huge amount of money, mm -hmm. but they are unable to maintain these facilities our problem is maintenance culture and i'm telling you it's very bad it's very very bad so now that the the, the presence is uh the Baltimore multi-purpose i mean uh complex will be turned into university for sports i think it's a step in the right direction uh we should just make sure that <coughs> we should just make sure that we get the right people to manage it mm. and we should get a private company mm. a private company should be given this responsibility mm. of managing this facility but okay because if we give this facility to the national sport authority i'm, I'm telling you that it will just turn into a white elephant mm. you know, they, 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 like managing our, our facilities is a problem for them mm. it's a problem for them mm. and i don't know why it has gotten to this kind of level that we, we, we just maintaining a pitch oh, it's maintaining a, problem. a facility it's a problem as mm. for university of ghana their stadium i know they will manage their facilities and Legon, how if, if you go to their campuses and see their pages and other facilities you know that if it's coming to if it comes to maintenance they are on top of their game okay but for for the other facilities let's give it to a private company and let a private comp uh, comp uh, like company use it like manage it very well and give it to individuals who are going to use it and let guys get money from it you understand mm. yeah in togo they don't have this kind of facility okay so when they want i mean a, 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 like a, a, a venue to host their swimming competition they can consider our, our aquatic center yeah you understand we have a pitch for volleyball mm. if a, a niger they want to play volleyball championship they can bring it to ghana and we will try that we will get money okay. we'll use it to maintain it but you, oh we have a problem <laughs> we have a big problem when you, it comes you, to maintenance you, you, i'm you, telling you so how do we solve in all these uh, you you are a sports journalist you you do so you are doing so much and um how do we solve these problems you see we have to get the right individuals from where we should not say oh we am a party in the my position mm. no because when professor chumesi was there even public accounts committee he will go there and you will see that they are problem with how they they, they, they handle fans so but no one will sack it. it was just recently that he was sacked and another person mm. was brought on board so you could clearly see that people that we give positions to we should give position to people who understand what they are doing for instance if you are going to appoint a national sport authority boss or even our sports minister let's give it to a sports person because when we are we, you understand because if we give it to a sports person he understands sports mm. he, 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 he like he, he knows what he's doing you okay. understand? no one can just play some tricks on him when Nina Tim Van der Poy was our minister for youth and sports look at how he was handling yeah. our, our, our issues you understand even the, the GFA knew that this man knows in and around sports so we cannot play certain tricks with him but okay. our sports minister was with national service scheme we brought him to to be our sports our sports minister he knows nothing about sports you understand although he can manage he can implement one or two things mm -hmm. but he doesn't have like a vast knowledge in sports he's okay. not a sports person we have a lot of sports people who can help our our, our, our sports institution but we are not going to give it to them because of politics politics so, yes, in football yeah poli no poli politics in, in government mm. because oh we're MPP, and see me and you, you don't belong to yeah. the same political that's party. the thing so, so it affects you it affects it, it, it that's what is affecting us you understand okay. so it's about time we identify certain individuals 
who can i mean help our sports grow let's give them the positions and they are going to do a very wonderful job fast but we all say oh uh, this one has contributed to my 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 my, my, my like my, my winning of this election so let me just award no <laughs> it's become family and friends it's become family and friends okay it's becoming family and friends which, which is helping which, which is not helping our um, our football so we have a long way to go frankly speaking and it's about time the government the government should also come. to i mean help one or two in the world doing war in our sporting fraternity the okay. government is not doing it hmm. when i have my team and for instance dreams fc is doing well in the calf confederation cup hmm. if dreams fc wins the calf confederation cup you will see that oh nanado they are going to greet nanado with the cup and nanado will just give the oh take five thousand dollars take fifty thousand dollars that's all but nanado didn't invest in dreams fc getting this kind of level okay if the government was in, in investing in our football or in or in our league and just bring the regulation that if a player is being transferred from our league to any other league i'll take 10 percent the club the football administrator will be happy mm. you understand now currently the Ghana Premier League, we don't have a sponsor it was bad power who we was don't our, have a sponsor no we don't have a sponsor it was bad power who was our sponsor but due to one or two things bad power has withdrew their sponsorship wow it was two million dollars that they were sponsoring and they said one million dollars who go into advertisement and even that kind of advertisement i was not seeing anything that was promoting our mm. national our our, our, our our ghana premier league okay. there, there was no billboard there was no banners there, there, there's no pull up nothing there was nothing that was i mean promoting our ghana premier league so mm. when even they do their sponsor i was even happy i was even happy that they would do it because there was nothing that bad power was doing for our ghana premier league so we need a, a certain sponsor that will brand our league we, for need, instance, we need good sponsors yes for instance, if a sponsor A is sponsoring uh, the Ghana Premier League and I come to Accra, yeah. I know that we have Legon City here, we have Hustle Folk, mm. we have Olympics and Accra and four Premier League clubs. Where is Hustle Folk? Where are they based? If they are based in Osu, if I go to Osu, I'll see a very big, big billboard yeah. that is saying something about Hustle Folk. You understand? Yeah. If I, I go you. to Teshi, I will do something for Great Olympics there. Legon City are from this area. So if I come to Atomic, I will see a big board that is erected and. Mm. I'll see information about Lego City. So if I'm, I'm, I'm a foreigner and I come into this, this uh, Accra and I'm I'm using this atomic route, I'll see something about Lego City. Okay, yeah, sure. It's Lego City Premier League Club. I'll mm. go to the internet like to, 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 to read more about them. But okay. there's, there, we are not marketing our teams enough. We don't even, most of the Ghana Premier League players, Mr. Imano, even if they come here, we don't know them. <laughs> we don't know them. Okay. You understand? How come a Premier League top scorer, that was last season, mm score 14 goals to win the top scorer uh, league uh, 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 butu and he was given five thousand uh dental hospital voucher mm. to go and clean his teeth like, does like it that. make sense no you see there are some pretty pretty things that we are not doing mm. so it it it, 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 it like it has to start from the government when it start from the government the football administration they also have their role to play even we the sports journalists we the fans you we have, all have, have a role we have play. a role to play now look at and attendance at our various stadiums mm. low attendance it was just when uh, the black princess and the black set, uh, st style st satellite were yeah. doing what that you could see the Legon stadium was okay. being uh, full, full to capacity mm. across sports stadium cape coast sports stadium but now ghana premier we are playing fa cup this weekend go to the various league center that we are playing the fa cup go and see the patrony day we are not marketing our league enough meanwhile during the 90s and the early 2000s when kodoko was play oko united at kumasi baba yara sports stadium. look at the number of people that will come to chair Oko United also yeah. as a new code code. but now the interest is not there you understand the for interest is not there the, the interest is lost for why instance, why why do you think the interest is still not there for instance if i'm staying at kasua okay and house of folk is my team transportation from kasua in and out to Accra sports stadium to watch football i'll eat i'll buy water if i add it together to be closer to henrik ghana cities mm. so i'll look at all these costs i will not come you understand even if i come i'll pay for the gate fee so if i multiply all this to the the, 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 the these figures together like I I, I I i don't want to spend that kind of money because okay. of, you see it doesn't even do with how the the, the, the economic situation in this country mm. you understand because i will say that hey because shop boy handle cities i will mm. not nobody will even do that. nobody will even even there's someone at osu behind the stadium he's a folk fan he will not even go and watch how the folk play football because Okay. Mr. Imano, if I take you to a crash now, and 
you 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 like and, and, and as the fuck is playing and you want to use the washroom where will you use it's 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 difficult because it's with difficult yeah next week will you come no i won't you won't come yeah so there's there, there, there are a lot of petty petty things that we have to put together okay you understand there mm. are a lot of things so meaning they if they say they are bringing back the love they are bringing back the love it's not enough mm. sloganeering is not enough okay i'm telling you abra um you remember um i think there was a news around um yes going to contest the edgesol uh, yeah is, is that is that issue is, is, i don't know whether it's something that is confirmed is it confirmed? Yeah, I, I saw the flyer today you, when you, i was coming okay so i saw the flyer it is true yes that uh like one sports guy mm. posted when i saw it i said hey what is happening from football to politics mm. it's too early i'm telling you it's too early it's too early if 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 i uh, i was to but it's choices you know he, i know he's entitled don't you think he's entitled to uh, whatever he wants to do because uh, he was into um football and yeah. we we all yeah, know what, issues, yeah. what happened yeah and he's been banned right yeah Still he's been banned, banned by fifa yeah yes is how many years he was banned for 14 14 years yeah yes so he can explore other areas don't you think that he has the right to go and explore other areas since he's been banned by F F F um, fifa oh yeah he, he, he has his rights all do but if it was to be me i would have lower my stance a bit i would, like because Ejisu is not the only constituency that you can contest. Frankly oh. speaking, Ejisu is not the only. What, what what makes you think so? Because you are from Wa, that was where his team was based. You can go to Wa and start doing something there, but all of a sudden, John Kuma's demise, you are going there to contest. Maybe he's a card bearing member there. He pays his dues at that constituency. Oh, it could be maybe about two constituencies. He he's able to pay his dues and and he qualifies so for me mm -hmm. um i also agree with what people are saying that mm -hmm. uh, since he wants to go and contest we should let him go what wow. do you think well if he wants to, go to contest he should go and uh, Charlie, it's not easy mm. because just some few months to elections even if you want to contest the judicial constituency just with for december mm. so that that time you even market yourself more yeah all of a sudden in the news boom this is going to contest for a Jesu constituency. Mm. To me, I think it's too early. I'm it's too you. early. If I was to be Kosinia Dechi, who wants to even contest the Ejisu constituency, I'll wait till December. We are in March. Why wait till December? That time, I'll market myself more. I'll go to the constituency. You understand? I'll do a lot of projects that will let them know that, oh, John Kuma is no more. I'm the new John Kuma. Yes. Mm -hmm. You understand? But all of a sudden, now, boom. Two weeks. How many? How many months? To, they, 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 they even do their their this thing. Uh, they didn't select. You understand? So okay. it's too early. It's too early. Frankly speaking, it's too early. But I I wish him all the best. Yeah. I wish him all the yeah, best. Yeah, I wish yeah, him all yeah, because yeah. he was part of uh, those who were campaigning for uh uh, uh, uh Japan. Okay. Yeah. There yeah, for, for 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 the flag bearership. Oh, okay. Yeah, he was part of. He was part of. Yeah, those. He, he was part. Of, he was part of. I yes. Mean. At and and okay. We we shouldn't be surprised because yeah. we all know when issues came up. Yeah. With uh, Anas, um, Anas, Arimiyo, Anas Espose, Kwesinyan uh, Tichi is one of the people who really stood firm. Yeah. And was for. So I I think. Um, <laughs> oh you think he, that is that is his decision oh, oh i i understand yeah i understand but to me i think it's too early frankly speaking let's he look at market market sports market. journalists now yeah in this country yeah i understand some of you mm -hmm. are on payrolls how true is that on payrolls of some people within the fa oh yeah so when true. certain issues come mm -hmm. up mm -hmm. you are unable to comment and speak the truth yes yeah, is it true yeah it's true you know some sports journalists in ghana i've heard no do you know some of i've them? heard it could it be true yeah it can be true because uh if there's an issue and the way that they run to their defense you could clearly see that no 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 these people uh <laughs> they, they, they 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 like they, they are just with the fa because i remember 
few months ago there was a demonstration mm -hmm. when ghana disappointed at the just ended african cup of nation in yeah. Côte d'Ivoire. there was a demonstration by mm -hmm. sadiq adams countryman songo and his people Hmm. just some few days after they demonstrated there was media for ghana football a press conference that they said ghana football is in safe hands okay so meaning if you bring this kind of a release saying that <laughs> ghana football is in safe hands yeah what are you trying to tell us mm -hmm. we all know that structures as far as football in this country is very weak structures are very weak okay we all know that things are not going on well hmm. so if you tell us that football it's it's in safe hands since when has our football been in safe hands no football is not in safe hands so me if someone demonstrate and say that the last three afghans that we have gone we've only won one match mm. and they are demonstration mm. they, they are demonstrating you have to be you, you, if you are not even part of them you have to just leave them to do their own thing yeah but bring something to counter what they are doing no <laughs> no 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 it, mm -hmm. it's very bad when even Otuado, Fatah Odauda, yeah. uh, Joseph Liman, yeah. and, uh, and, and uh, John Pinso were, were appointed, they brought, a, uh, they, they, they brought a release saying that those are the competent people to work for our national team. Yeah. So, the question that you're asking me, meaning there are some people who are being paid to do certain dirty works for the EFI. That one there, you could... You, you, you could sense it <laughs> but there's not too much evidence yeah that one they're fine but you could sense it mm. so you could sense it because sometimes it's not always that the fa is doing well yeah sometimes we have to criticize them mm. but when you are criticizing there's someone who will counter mm. so so I mean they don't even take us serious yeah i'm telling you so you think people are being influenced right oh by all means okay by all means there are some people who are being influenced mm. from the look of things yes yeah if you look at things critically there's rumors and you, uh, just that ibra you you've been in this industry for some time now do you know some of them <laughs> uh, I'll, I'll find out from where i'll find out from my sources yeah, okay. I thought maybe you know some of the names and uh, the names, the names, the names, the names, the names, the names. I have to do my 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 search more, my 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 research more, and and, and get the names. Mm. So you want to tell me you don't know any of them? I'm seeing some glimpses in some people, but as to I'm still finding out. I'm still finding out, Mr. Emmanuel. <laughs> Frankly speaking, I'm still finding out. You see, I have not concluded yet. Mm. I've not concluded yet. I'm still doing my checks. Yeah. When 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 I conclude, I'll bring it out. Okay. When you you conclude, you're going to bring yeah, it yeah, out. Yeah. yeah. Uh, when 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 I when are you going to conclude and bring this issue out? Oh, I think uh, very soon. Very soon. It will not take me time because mm. I'm, I'm looking forward to see one or two things again. So I'll just put my 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 my, my thought together and confirm. Uh, and and I'm sure that uh, football we should take partisan politics out of our football or. Uh, sports yeah i think it's one of the things that has affected us frankly speaking, yes over frankly the speaking. years these are some of the things that has affected us and you see? Um, we, we should be able to take partisan politics away and off 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 off, off from from what, what do you think you, it's, it's a big problem in ghana mm. when uh the, uh, the uh, president Akufado came into power mm. he was looking forward to go to the world cup so that it would be two two yeah because ndc <laughs> went to world cup twice you understand that was in 2010 and yeah. in, also in 2014 sure but when mpp government came into power it was only 2008 and mm. uh, 2006 germany that they went to so they were looking forward that 2014 i was say a call 20, uh, like 20 uh, they were looking forward to to go to the World Cup in 2018 in russia but it didn't happen mm. but in 2022 in rush in qatar we all saw what happened mm. when we beat when we we drew with nigeria 0, zero and play one one and qualify to the World Cup. They were saying, "Hey, chat now to two, 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 two. Yeah, Bresso, and I walk. Uh, I've got no. Yeah, we need yeah. this kind of things. You know, if you are saying it, like someone will not even want to support the national mm, team. I'm yeah, telling you, that's true. These African games, there were some people who wanted Ghana to withdraw. We saw the comment that they were making. Oh, Ghana, yeah. uh, we cannot host this Af African African games. So African game. The budget is, is too outrageous. This, yeah. that, this, that, this, that. But it was Ghana that was hosting it. So yeah. just support your country. After then you criticize. But when we are on the verge of hosting it and you are you are you are, you are, you are punching holes, they mean that you want 
the, the people that are in the authority to have divided my, uh, attention uh, responding to you and also organizing the game we cannot have a very successful african games with that so politics is something that's affected uh, affected us in this country a lot oh during our regime we hosted the 2008 uh, afcon we hosted we hosted the african games again that's M on the mpp side mm. and ngc2 are saying in 2009 they also they won, come and give us they won, stories they won the world cup as far as the under 20 is concerned so okay. like everybody just bringing their point everybody saying when we came to power the legon stadium <laughs> we, 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 we we completed we completed it started it. during our time it started during we, our time uh, we, we completed 150 assorted when we came it was some few assorted that we're having in this country you see mm. this politics thing this politics thing it's about time mpp ndc we should just know that when it comes to football or sports we are all one we are all Ghanaians mm. because when the black stars if they go to morocco 2025 and win the afcon i'll be happy okay you understand but during that time if it is mpp or ndc that is in, in power the opposition will be praying that they should not win it mm. so that they will use it hey uh, for for how many years now we've not won the afcon say, say, say. and those in power too will say oh during our time that we, we came and ended our, our drought uh, uh, winning the you understand so these things are not helping i'm mm. telling you we should just see ourselves to be one when it's politics we can split but when it's sports especially football we should be one mm. because the national team is not for mpp it's not for ndc it's for we Ghanaians because <laughs> it's, it's, it's our taxpayers money that we used to pay this big big uh, winning bonus for, uh, for them appearance three hundred thousand dollars and everything it's our taxpayers money okay without our taxpayers money they cannot pay them this kind of amount mm. You understand yes so we have a long way to go politics has really affected it very very well so mm. our politicians they should make sure that they should not bring their politics into football they should not bring their politics in our sports if ghana is supposed to do something let's all like it should be it should be like we should, we should all, it, it should be collective. collective responsibility yes you understand? we should all support that kind of agenda let's not say oh uh, it's because it's not my party in power so i will not support <laughs> our against i will do this i'll do that no yeah no it's too bad when we are playing this uh african games when south africa withdrew from playing the hockey bam, ndc play, release they, they condemn it hmm. no because these south africans when they've been withdrawing it was just some mis uh, some, 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 some 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 delay that came but as for the pitch that they were saying was not up to standard it was mm. not it was not it was not it was not, it was not true okay because we went there saw that the term that they brought was mm. quality it was just that the contractor delay in laying the the, the, mm. the, the term so politics is something that is killing our, our, our sports. it's killing I'm our telling, sports I'm telling, activities i'm telling you it's okay. killing our sports okay okay um ibra very soon will be going for a break but then before we go for uh, a break um let me ask you um you you've been a sports journalist for some time now do you have some plans of impacting the knowledge and the experience you have do you have plans of doing that oh definitely i have to okay. uh, because looking at over the years the experience that i've acquired so far i, I think i have to impact knowledge mm. i have to impact knowledge uh, okay. because you could clearly see uh, some of our seniors they don't want to impact knowledge mm. i'm telling you which is very very bad what you know when someone asks you oh senior how are you doing this how are you doing that you should be able to explain that thing to the person okay but in our space most of they are not open even when you meet this kind of senior journalists in program and you greet them and you want to even ask them questions how you are treated how you are treated is too is very bad you understand they see themselves to be at their peak fine you are at your peak <laughs> but at least at least for the sake of humanity you should be, be friendly enough yeah you understand you should be friendly if someone you you have fans people who like you just open up just open up to them so mm. impacting knowledge is very very important mm. uh in some years to come uh i want to write a book okay on journalism on sports journalism on sports journalism wow that would be interesting to yeah, read yeah yeah I'll, I'll, I'll have to do that okay yeah so so we should expect so in two that. years time yeah we should expect yeah that. In, so in 2026 you are you are, have you started already yes i've started already okay so we are going to launch you, you'll be launching a book oh, yeah, yeah. on sports journalists on sports journalists yeah. wow i can't wait to uh, yeah it's very very important yes how we do our sports mm. how we're supposed to do it mm. because so if you look at in our space how we do sports 
and you compare it to outside Ghana, there are some differences. Mm. I'm telling you. Yeah. Sometimes when I listen to, I don't know why, but um, commentary in our local language huh. uh, is so scary. I don't know why. Sometimes it's terrible. Yes, yeah, so scary, so scary. Mm -hmm. like, we don't take our time. Mm. You see, the problem is that they think when they are running fast, mm. it's when they are doing the, the job. No. Mm. You understand? You have to be precise with whatever you are saying. Okay. Because if it's radio, the person is not seeing the action mm. that is here. So you should be able to break certain things down. Because TV commentary and radio commentary are two different things altogether. For as for TV, they see this, they, they are seeing the scene since. So you, they, you, you just add some touches to whatever you are describing to them. But as for radio, it is you who is telling them the story. So it has to do with how you are going to, I mean, describe the situation. Mm. But most of our three commentators. <laughs> it's very very terrible they make their thing so scary they make their thing so scary they make the, the thing so scary we don't learn mm. i'm telling you we don't learn we don't learn we don't learn at all and it's about time we we, we i don't know mm. because in this space because we have certain people who who, who don't learn on the job mm. that's why all this thing is happening okay because if we're having people who, who learn on their job this is not how we are doing and, and and don't you think at some point we should have um fe organizing some seminar yes or refresher course for some of our presenters or our sports commentators don't you think uh, the fa can take up some of these things oh yeah i think i, th I think they can take up some of these challenges but mm. uh, they will not do what say yempo what we are doing we've not even finished with what we are doing mm -hmm. how more i mean organized seminar for i mean our sports journalists and mm. i think if, if, if they start doing that it, it's something that is going to i mean help help help, help, help like help us a lot okay you see the problem that i have is that when radio stations they don't pay to get people give them quality. the competent people yeah, to the work competent people because okay. they can just send 20 cities to break home someone in break home to just run commentary like <laughs> they just oh chale for me to me about 2 p.m against break home so do commentary for me and they will just send 20 cities and call the person and the person is just doing a commentary no <laughs> you understand you have to get some people if you want to have a commentary show yeah. on sundays I, I like ahead of i mean time you can make some calls in Brekum hmm. because we have radio stations in Brekum. Yeah, Someone sure. Who is good who can give you quality co uh, uh, commentary? You can contact the person, hmm. send the person money, and the person will give you quality. You okay. can go to Brekum, go to Kranza, go to Samna Boy. Like you can create links there. Hmm. But in our space, because of cheap labor, ten city, fifteen city, they will send <laughs> to, and the person will just be right through. I, I I was listening to a commentary at a point and. Um, I realized that this commentator i don't know whether he has taken money from about three radio stations yeah. <laughs> and <laughs> they do happen yeah i witnessed them before yeah. uh, i was at the stadium when this guy was holding about four mobile phones so when he's going when, when he's running the computer it's time for him to mention the frequency then you you put three phones aside mm -hmm. and mention if it is piece of you mention the frequency then take <laughs> <laughs> then put it aside and measure another frequency like and, and i'm just okay so what, thank what, you what? um ibra and um thank you for honoring my invitation i'm so excited you came uh, at this time we take 